in 2016, I successfully predicted something. I went on social media, I went all over YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, telling people the biggest opportunity that I saw was gonna be social media. The opportunity was in social media. It was still new. Like millions of people hadn't jumped into it. And I launched my SMMA, social media marketing agency program. It got so big, I, I own the trademark, believe it or not. The US government gave me the trademark on, on you know, SMMA social media marketing agency just because million, hundreds of million people probably saw that. But in terms of my paid programs, we've trained over 100,000 people how to launch a business with, and not everybody was successful, of course, but very high success rate compared to most training programs compared to college too, in terms of actually producing solid income for people. Now, I'm making a new prediction on this live call. You haven't seen me say this anywhere else. I'm making a new prediction that 20, 2016 to 2020 was the age of social media. 2020 to 2025 is the age of e-commerce specialists. So I want you to write down that word, that phrase, e-commerce specialist. All the opportunity is gonna go to e-com specialists. Now, will there still be opportunities in social media? Of course, but it's saturated, highly competitive, or it's, there's still, I mean, look, I got people in my SMMA program every day, but the biggest opportunity has now shifted. Opportunities never last more than three to five years, just to be clear. Okay, now solid businesses can run for decades or even centuries, but the big opportunity that you have to catch is in that, they call it the inflection point. It's like where the trend meets consumer demand, where the demographics meet. And that's what, we're, what we found, 20, 20, it really started by the way, before 2016, I caught the trend starting about 2013 to 2014 is when I started really seeing the opportunity in social media and it lasted, you know, it boomed in 2015 and 16. Just think about it, Snapchat came out and grew. Um, you know, Instagram grew to the most powerful platform, surpassed Facebook, its owner. Downloads, saturation rate, basically every person under 30 had Insta has Instagram on their phone in every country. So, but things have shifted. And post COVID, you wanna be an e-com specialist first. Social media, I would put as a secondary skill that will still make you money, but you wanna lead now. In 2020, 2025, and I don't even think this window, by the way, is gonna last five years. This one's gonna be a shorter window, because think about it. Everybody's at home right now, trying to figure out, you got over 20 million reported unemployed in the US. It's more than that, because contractors, part-time people aren't counted in that, right? Globally, you're talking massive depression levels unemployment. Everybody's gonna go. It's not like 2016 where everybody kind of had a job and and so only, you know, people slowly got into social media marketing. No, right now, people are gonna pour in. So the reason I wanted to do this live call is I want, I'm, I'm launching a new test group. You guys know that I like test groups. Uh, they've done very, I, in 2016, October 2016, I launched my social media marketing test group. I'm like, let me take a handful of people and show them how to make this game happen. And um, so, and just kind of walk you through, some of you do better. I know some people like to be, they, they like to see things, that's fine. Visual learners, not many people are audio learners. Most people are visual or kinesthetic. So I'm gonna give you some, okay. So we're gonna call this Ecom Specialist Opportunity. And I'm about to share my screen. So you should see my slideshow here. Boom, sharing. Okay, it should come in shortly. So I'm just gonna put 2015 to 2020, okay, trend. The big trend was, very simple, social media marketing. Best way I new to for a beginner to make money online. It was the best way that I knew by far. Okay, 20, that was the last five years. Okay, but as Warren Buffett says, what made him money in 1966 wouldn't have made him money in 1967. What made him money in 1967 didn't make him money in 1968. He said he had to become a learning machine to become wealthy. So if you're committed to wealth, uh, if you're not committed, because everybody's committed to trying to get wealthy on this planet, okay? But if you're not committed to the other side of the equation, which is a learning machine, 
you're going to get, you're going to get destroyed. It's like, there's a, there's a basketball coach for university of Kentucky, John Calipari. And he used to tell his, his players, he said, you know, when he'd see a player leave practice, basketball practice, right at the moment when, uh, practice was over and John Calipari would say, you know what? I want you to know it's fine that you're leaving. I want you to know in another part of this city, in another part of this country, there's another kid who's going to stay after practice and he's going to shoot 200 practice free throws, 200 three pointers. And he's going to keep practicing while you're at home playing video games. And one day you will meet that kid in a game and you will lose. Okay. It was the hard facts. So what I'm telling you is everybody, we've got almost 700 people here. Okay. Everybody here is here because you want to have a solid financial future. There ain't nobody like being broke. Anybody who tells you money doesn't matter is an idiot. Now money's not the most important thing, but it does matter. <laughs> I will tell you that. Okay. So it's not the most important thing, but it does matter. And you need to have a solid income in the post-corona world. And going back to sharing my screen, the opportunity, here's the opportunity, 20. And I'm not even, I don't think this is going to even last three years. I think it's going to last under two years. So I'm just going to put 2022. The next big thing, I'm calling it right here. I like doing live calls because then it's documented that I said it. Okay, a lot of people are like, Ty, how do I know your predictions, economic predictions have come true? I'm like, because I got it on video and 700 people watched it live. Okay, the next big thing is becoming an e-commerce specialist. And I'm going to talk about what that is. There is no exact definition of what an e-com specialist. But let me just show you what, here, here's why. This is what you got to understand. Who, what, where, where, why, when, Okay. Why am I making this prediction? And why can you be confident in this prediction? So let's see what happens. So pre-COVID, okay, about, let's just call it 20 retail stores were going bankrupt. I know because I bought one of them, <laughs> okay? So I could tell you firsthand, I bought a company that was doing 740 million in revenue. Dress Barn it was called. So I'll just put that as an example. So before COVID, you had already a problem with retail, retail stores going bankrupt because they didn't understand e-commerce, okay? They didn't understand it. Dress Bar and the company I bought, horrible e-com operations, literally. They didn't know how to do a pop-up. They didn't know how to get email lists. They didn't know how to properly collect SMS lists. They did not understand Google Analytics. They didn't look at, they never logged into their Facebook ad manager. They just used an agency that, but they never double checked on the agency, run very subpar ads. Um, the way that they delivered the product, the way that they updated the customer on new products coming out, it was just poor, okay? So there's 20 retail stores pre-COVID approximately forever 21 is another one I tried to buy destination maternity is another one okay so just giving you some examples um uh, Barney's was another one okay now post coat that's the world world changed like like Vladimir Lenin said there are decades when nothing happens and then weeks when decades happened the last weeks you have watched decades transpire in front of your eyes okay so Post-COVID, guess what? We're identifying brands that we think will, are already for sale, retail brands. Now it's 57 retail brands are going bankrupt. Examples, JCPenney, you might have seen the news yesterday, is getting ready to announce bankruptcy, Chapter 11. Um, they're Neiman Marcus. Uh, GNC, the supplement company, okay? So JCPenney. So now, in a matter of months, okay? In a matter of months, 
look what's happened. We've gone from about 20 brands for sale to 57. And we're only in the first month of this coming economic recession, okay? We're only in the first month. Now, we don't know how long this thing's gonna go. We don't know if it's gonna be a remission. We do know there's a lot of fear that governments are acting. I'm not saying that they're acting correctly because governments usually are idiotic, but they're acting and it's gonna affect you. So the proper response is to begin to build e-commerce mastery. Let me, let me open, it's hot in this room, hold on. All right, sorry about that. So, let me go back, unshare here. Did I unshare, let me stop my share. So, I've kind of made the case, I've given you statistics. By the way, 57 is just right now. Um, I expect if you start counting real estate failures, okay? Shopping centers, commercial real estate. Uh, Barron's just put an article out. 20 to 40% of rent was collected in April, okay? That's a big deal. All these landlords that own property, most of them have debt and leverage. They're in big trouble. So it's going to snowball probably in a negative way. Okay, so now, what should you do about it? Great, the problem, okay? But let's talk about the solution because I hate when just people talk about problems with no solutions. Who cares? We all got problems. I'm going to share the screen and I'm going to talk. Okay, so why? So what? I like who, what, where, what, where, why, and when, right? What should you do about it? Well, you have a couple options. One, go back to your old job or if you're an entrepreneur, your old company, uh, business model, let's say, okay? Number two, your option is keep getting unemployment. A lot of people are gonna do that, honestly. Some people are making more on unemployment than they're making before with their job, okay? That's actually a real problem. I read an interesting financial article about somebody predicting, hey, a lot of people are like, I'm making $2,000 or whatever with the government money in unemployment and I was only making like 1,800 bussing tables or whatever. So you can stay on unemployment, but that isn't gonna work in the long run. And over time that destroys your dignity. And when you destroy your dignity for too long, uh, it affects your net worth. No wealthy people let their dignity be destroyed by taking a handouts for forever. You might need it for a period of time, but you gotta become self-sufficient. So number three, your option is catch the next big trend. E-commerce, let's just Google here. I'm just gonna Google, okay? Um, let's just put in, sorry, hold on here. Let me stop my share for one second. I just want you to see what I'm seeing here, okay? So let's just put in e-commerce. This is a little trick I do that you guys should also be doing. One of the ways you can catch trends is just type in words like e-commerce. Then you go up here and Google to the news tab. Click on the news button in the upper left corner, okay? So look, one day ago, COVID crisis can't sink these e-commerce stocks, okay? They're saying like e-commerce companies are doing fine. Um, APAC e-commerce platforms are helping brands and consumers. Marketers must humanize and personalize the grocery e-commerce. That's a big area that I, I own a company called Farmer's Cart. Our return on ad spend right now is insanity, okay? E-commerce entrepreneurship. Look at this. I didn't even see this. Three days ago, Entrepreneur Magazine. Let's just look here. It says e-commerce entrepreneurship grows as unemployment rises. They're basically, I don't know if you read this magazine. It's a good magazine. I read it sometimes. I've been, actually, they named me in 2017 as like top online entrepreneur. Um, but I don't know if I was, but uh, so I kind of watch this magazine. E-commerce entrepreneurship grows as unemployment rises. So I don't even see this, but you should check out this article after this call. So it's in the news. The opportunity is relatively obvious, but I'm making the point here because some people are stubborn. 
So now how, remember who, what, where, why, when, and how. So let's go to how. So how do you catch the trend? Okay. How do you catch this trend? It's not as easy as just going e-commerce. Like some people know how to recognize trends, but they don't know how to capitalize from it. So here's what I'm going to suggest to you. There's two simple paths, but they both point to one specific solution. Okay. If you, if you could be, let's just call it recognized or certified as an e-commerce specialist, guess what? In about four months from now, believe it or not, you could know more than 90% of the people running e-commerce brands. I could tell you that with a absolute assurance that brand people and companies, their employees don't know what they're doing. I'm not gonna say the name because I'm under NDA, but listen to this, this is gonna blow your mind. Okay, I'm bidding to buy a very large e-commerce. Well, it's, it's half e-commerce, half retail stores. They have 1,000 stores in the United States, okay? I'm in the middle process trying to buy this thing, okay? It's a good bit of money to buy it, but I think the return is there. Talking to the banker, the investment banker, he's like, hey, you should, you know, it's definitely worth you buying this, Ty, because we've, since COVID, our e-commerce has been improving and we've improved our e-commerce operations. We used to use Excel. Excel, an Excel sheet to sort and target their customers to email. You know how backwards that is? You know how beginner that is? That's like a white belt in karate, a white belt in jujitsu uses Excel. If you know what you're doing, you use more, you know, use Clavio, use Attentive. I have my own custom software. The software says, email these people, this message, this people, these people who live in Colorado get this kind of message. It's called segmentation and targeting. And this large billion dollar revenue company, until last week was using e uh, Excel. Now, if that doesn't show you the opportunity, nothing will. That means these guys are all idiots. So if you can come in with a level of expertise, let me go back to share my screen here if I can. Uh, if you can come back with a level of expertise, you have two choices. You can get hired as an employee, which is good for some people. There's nothing wrong with being an employee as long as you're getting paid fairly and you enjoy what you're doing. So companies are gonna be hiring people that they have some assurance that they're actually good at social at, at uh, e-commerce, okay? Number two, you can do this as your own company and you can offer consulting and agency services, e-com agency services to brands. You can say, let me come in, I'll get your, I'll get your Shopify store going. I'll get you on ClickFunnels. I'll get you on the Amazon. That's an e-com platform for distribution, right? So if you can come in and do that, you're going to have the opportunities that no one else is going to have in the next two years. I can just promise you that. It's going to be amazing. It already is amazing right now. And I'll tell you this, right now, I need to hire people. I was very lucky, knock on wood. None of my companies did bad during COVID. I haven't laid off any employees because of um, COVID, okay? None, zero. And I'm actually hiring more people, okay? But my biggest problem, and I was talking to my CEO of one of my companies, everybody we hire has does not have a completely well-rounded understanding of e-com. Because there's lots of things you have to know with e-com. It's not just one thing. You can't just know Shopify or ClickFunnels. You can't just know email marketing or Facebook ads. You need to understand the four Ps. There's four Ps. Product pricing, uh, promotions, placement. Four categories that you must know in e-commerce. So the problem is everybody I hire, every intern, every employee, I have to train them myself. Okay. So I've been developing a special secret weapon here to train people very quickly, which is an e-commerce certification program for four months. I'm going to make every person that I hire 
either already, ideally, they already went through it. But if they, if I really think they have potential, I'll let them take it while they work for me. Okay. So that's why I'm creating a special e-com certification specialist. It's called e-com certification specialist. At the end of four months, there's an exam. You got to pass the exam. By the way, it's not a bullshit exam that everybody's going to pass. But if somebody fails, it's okay. You don't have to start all over. You just need to go back and study and you can take it again the next week until you pass. But I'm going to make sure people know e -com. And I'm telling you that you can live anywhere in the world with this thing. You could be male, female. You could be, you can be under 18 as long as your parents give you permission. There's no rules. Okay, so, oops, my slides here disappeared. Okay, let me do a new thing. So, let me share my screen again. So, we talked about, you know, how do you catch this trend? Let's talk about specifics. Ah, now my, my Google Slides keeps going off. Let's see if it'll go on. Da -da -da -da. Strange, that Zoom works, but Google doesn't. All right, I don't need this. I'll come back. So um, I want to offer this to the public, to a small test group. That's why I was like, let me do a live call because I not everybody can come work for me. And I, you know, I want people to catch this opportunity. Just like in October 2016, I told people, jump into this thing. So one cool thing about this program is I've already got it prepared. Meaning today, if you get in, you can begin today. Some of my programs I launch as like a pre-launch, so I don't have all the content in there, but we got the first 30 days already in there and we're recording, it's month by month, different teachers. There's about four main teachers, okay? Myself, my business partner, Alex, who you definitely wanna learn from. He just sold his e-commerce business for $300 million. You can Google him, Alex Marizusk, $300 million. Um, you can see a video of him ringing the New York Stock Exchange bell, okay? So that's number two. Number three, there will be Rudy Mayer, who is my business partner in my social media marketing agency and e-com agency. And then fourth, I'm going to have a, a guy that some of you know already, very famous, Adrian Morrison. Um, Adrian, I think, is the largest... Shopify affiliate. He's he's trained more people on Shopify than anybody. So Shopify is the largest e-com third-party platform in the world. It's worth twenty billion dollars, and he's sent. He's basically trained the most people in the world uh, on. So and then I have a couple other people that are going to teach. So the way the program works, you're going to come in. Okay, now I can share again. Share screen. Boom. So. I want to talk about what you're going to get and also like very specific things here that you're going to get. So four month e-com certified specialist program. Okay. That's what I call it. Taught by me, Ty Lopez, Dr. Alex Mayer, Rudy Mar, Adrian Morrison. Now, let me just tell you this. You can also try to get a college degree in this. Me, Alex, Rudy, Adrian, there's not one professor in the world that has more experience than even one of us, okay? And I'm not saying bullshit. I'm saying statistically, like we've spent 600 million on Facebook and YouTube ads. We've generated, Alex and I have generated 10 figures in e -com for our own businesses. Okay, that's a billion, not million. Okay, that's in the billions. So you're going to learn not from professors. All these people have full-time businesses. They're running, making money every day. None of us are full-time teachers. Sometimes people are like, oh, are you a full-time teacher? I'm like, absolutely not. Right there, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I have 11 companies, major brands that I own. I spend most of my time on my brands. That's not counting real estate. I just bought two warehouses in the last week. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying this is going to be elite level teaching. Elite. Now, it's not a college degree, okay? So you can't tell people you have a diploma. 
But what you can tell people is I have a certified, I have a certification from Ty Lopez, Alex Mayer, Rudy Mayer, Adrian Moore, and we are very well known in the business world. And not everybody, like I'm controversial. Some people don't like me because I have viral videos that step on people's toes and whatever. And people think, oh, what is this all this? But, but I'm known. So having this degree, this certification, not degree, will open doors. I can promise you it opened doors, obviously, to get into my own company. If somebody had gone through this e-com certified specialist program and done well on the exam at the end, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'm hiring them first, front of the line. I won't necessarily be able to hire everybody, but it's going to open up doors. Okay. This is a door opener. And I just want to say, you don't have to be an entrepreneur with this. Okay. You could also get a high paying job. Not everybody has to be an entrepreneur. Some people say everybody has to be an entrepreneur. It's not true. The whole world, people are different. Some people do better in an environment working with a team. Okay? So, uh, let me see. Okay, let me give you a list. I just want to read off here some of the things that you're about to get access to. Now, I just want you to know one little thing here. Uh, the response is already crazy high. Okay? Okay? The response. So we actually were sending out an email to everybody on my list and we actually like didn't email everybody because I haven't seen this much demand for something and I'm not trying to trick you or use reverse six psychology. Sometimes people are like, oh, Ty's trying to be a smooth salesman. I'm not. L listen, man, I got so many businesses going unrelated to me training Um that if you've noticed in the last couple of years, I've been more off social media. It's just because I'm making money with other things. My farmer's cart business is doing four ROAS, if you know what that is. And those of you who go through my program will know what ROAS is. Okay, that means I spend $1, I make $4 back the same day. My gross margins are insanity. You know, I own Dress Barn. Basically the largest woman's brand or one of the largest woman's clothing brand in the world. We move volume. Some people will tell you, oh, I know e-commerce. I can teach you. Shit, I'm going to tell you this. Let me just tell you this. And this is going to sound cocky. Any e-com instructor on the internet, I will go live and show them my e-com live numbers versus theirs. Okay? Nobody wants to go ahead. Like, you're going to learn from people. Do it. We, me and my business partner do volume. So some people are like, oh, I'm drop shipping, you know, 20 pieces of clothing. I'm like, no, we're moving, you know, in the tens of thousands. So I just want you to know that, like, we're qualified to teach you this, I guess is what I'm saying. And there are other good people who teach e -com, but most of them don't have real credentials. They're just kind of being like, yeah, I could, you know, like I said, find one e -com teacher on the internet that sold their e-com company for 300 million bucks. Documented too, not bullshit. Like they were on MSNBC ringing the New York Stock Exchange bell. That's my business partner, Alex, that's going to be in here teaching you. Okay. So the way it works is there's four months. Okay. Let me share my screen here. So there's four months of training and it kind of goes like this. This is how it's going to work. Okay. I want you to know what you're getting. Okay. Four months. Now you can take longer. If you're super busy, you can do it over a year. You have up to one year. Okay. Can go slower up to one year. Okay. So month one, you're going to learn product. It's all about product. We have a 30 day challenge. So the 30 day challenge in that first, in this first month, I want to get you like ramped up. I'm going to teach you a, like the whole big picture of e -com. Okay. And with an emphasis on product, you got to sell the right thing. Where do you get the product? Where do you source the product? Do you sell a virtual product? Do you sell a, you know, do you sell a virtual, a digital drop ship product, a product from your own warehouses? Do you sell on Amazon? Do you use Shopify? Do you use WordPress? Do you use ClickFunnels? 
Do you use Kajabi? Do you use Teachable? Like we've done all those, okay? My business mentor box, a company I founded, me and Alex, ClickFunnels, we're qualified to teach you ClickFunnels because I think we're the top three or four highest grossing ClickFunnels uh, company of all time. Russell Brunson's a friend of mine, great guy. And so we could, we're, we'll be going through that. Shopify, we're in our dress barn store shot to the top 99.999% of Shopify, all Shopify's platform in terms of daily sales, okay? So we're, we, we can show you some badass stuff. So that first month, we're gonna go product plus 30 day challenge. Now, some of you, we have an option, um, but I, I don't wanna confuse you now. We'll even, we can, but we won't do this for everybody. We'll build a pre-done Shopify store for you. So if you don't wanna, if you wanna really get off the ground quick, we'll build you and stick a product or two in there so you could begin, begin selling this month. Some, but that's, we're, we don't have the bandwidth to do that for everybody. We can also help build a ClickFunnels uh, funnel for you, okay? I built my first funnel in 2001. There is nobody that I know built funnels longer than me. Nobody, even Alex started 2008. I've been doing it, my first funnel was in <coughs> uh, December of 2001, or it might've been January 2002. I've never been able to remember. It was about a month or two after Google AdWords was created by by Google. So I'm gonna show you, you know, we could show you the ClickFunnels side. We can do that for you, but not for all the students. It's too many, just so you know. Okay. So let me go back what you're gonna get in month two. So month two, month one, and for some of you pre-built stores, we're not gonna do it for everybody, okay? It's just too complicated. It takes a lot of work. Okay, month two is going to be pricing slash financial. By the way, it's the four Ps, I like. you're gonna learn this. Four months, Four Ps, I call it. It's a classic business. I didn't go to business school, but I read a lot of textbooks, Harvard textbooks, try to learn stuff from every source. So we're gonna teach you the pricing financial side. So what I mean by that, you gotta know your numbers, okay? You gotta know your numbers. And the I, I've been fortunate enough, you know, I didn't grow up with any money. I, um, I, I my, my dad was in prison when I was born in Long Beach, California, in an island called Terminal Island. My mom was a single mom raising me. I don't think my mom ever made more than $15,000 a year until she married my stepdad who delivered mail. And I remember her telling me, Ty, life's gonna change for us because your new stepdad makes $28,000 a year. And I was like, 28,000, I don't even know how what to do with that much money. Uh, so I didn't grow up around money. I want you to know that. For those of you who are struggling, I feel your pain, man. Wow. When, when my mom was a single mom, $100 a month, a, a year, she'd spend on Christmas. She'd be like, what do you want? You get a hundred bucks. And when they, when she married my stepdad, I remember it was like, went up to like 200 bucks. And I was like, wow. So I did not grow up around money. I've had to learn it all in the streets, all in the trenches. But fortunately, I found many mentors, people much more advanced than I am now, even today. People think I'm advanced. I'm like, I'm not advanced compared to my mentors to this day. So some of them are mentors that I talk to a lot. And some of them are people I talk to once a year. Okay. Four of them are billionaires. Some of you have seen, you know, Mark Cuban. You may have seen some stuff with me and Mark Cuban. I've learned from him, but I don't spend a lot of time with him. I email him maybe once a year. He replies to me. But I learned from that one email. There's a guy named Tillman Fertitta. You may have seen him. He was on my Instagram about four months, five months ago. He's on the Forbes list, $5 billion. He owns, he's the largest restaurant owner in the world. He also owns the Houston Rockets. This is what he told me. And I want you guys to know this. I said, what's the most important thing, Tillman, for me to be successful as an entrepreneur? And he said this one thing. He said, know your numbers. Know your numbers, Ty. So I meet entrepreneurs and I ask them, what's your ROAS? What's your EPC? What's your CPC? What's your conversion rate? What's your EPL if you're generating leads? What's your CPL? People are like, uh, I, I meet people who do one or two. I'm like, what's your level of statistical significance on your split test? Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, what's your open rate? What's your click rate? Click through rate? Your unsubscribe rate? Your opt-in rate? Your opt-out rate? All these things. 
And I'm going to teach you that in month two is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Month two is going to be extremely important because I'm going to teach you how to know the key. They call them KPIs. Know your numbers. Know your numbers. That's advice from a billionaire directly to me. Know your numbers. He told me he anybody he meets who doesn't know their numbers, he knows they'll never make money. And there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there flying blind. For those of you who are entrepreneurs, how often do you check your Google Analytics? Do you have advanced analytics set up? You know, oh, let me read. I'm just going to show you here. Here's Dress Barn, this company that I own. I just want you to see some of the conversations that are happening at every level, every day. Um, so let me just show you, I'll just read this. You guys can, most of you will not know what this means, but let me just see. Here's us, I don't know if you guys could see my screen, but maybe let me share. So here's us sharing, oh, I gotta turn my brightness down. Sharing Google Analytics, real-time analytics. We're constantly watching that. We're knowing our numbers. Um, here's the daily report, our chief marketing officer. I don't know how to get this. Shows us, which has our site-wide ROAS. It has our refunds, gross profit, our margins, uh, our projected net. It has our, here's one that many people don't know. Okay, well, actually, let me not even get in. I don't want to confuse people. I'm a little worried if I get too advanced, some of you will have a heart attack. I just want to say this program, this four-month program is actually for all levels. So if you're a super beginner, let me not, you might already be confused by what ROAS is. If you're an advanced marketer, you already know, but I promise you, no matter how advanced you are, there's going to be a tremendous amount you learn. My business partner has a PhD in astro uh, in aeronautical engineering, um, aerospace engineering, I should say. Even I thought I knew my numbers before I met him. Um, he knows even more than me. Got a PhD. He was number two in the world at age 14 in the physics Olympics. But we're going to break it down easy. Easy. So if you're not a numbers person, you can still know your numbers. Here's one from the CEO of Dress Barn. Looking at PDP views, we got 8% less, 123K versus 134K. PDP conversion was slightly higher, 2.62 versus 2.56. Who here knows what PDP is? Because I know I got some advanced people on here. Who, who knows PDP? Not many people, probably nobody. So I'm gonna fix that once and for all in month two. PDP, somebody said, I do, sir. Okay, but you have to say what it is. What's the example? You can't just say, I know what it is. That's like little kids. When you're like, do you know the answer? They're like, uh, there we go. Albert Navarro, congratulations. Knew the answer. Good, good. Product detail page. Okay. Okay, uh, let me go back to screen share. So month three, what are you going to get? All right, month three, we're going to go through... Um, so the four, you have four piece product pricing promotions. Now this is the one a lot of people like marketing pro promotes. So we're going to everything marketing related. As I told you, me and my business partner, Alex, or right now we're at the top. We're, I'm not sure if we're number two or three. At one point we were number two Facebook e-com spenders in the world. I'm not sure where we are. They don't, our reps update us every once in a while. At one point, I was like number two or three YouTube marketer in the world in terms of dollars spent. So we are going to show you ninja tricks that nobody else on the internet can teach you, really. Okay? So the promotions marketing, we're going to how do you get traffic? You can't just have a store, right? You can't just have a store and nobody visits it. Okay? But what we can do is we can set up email marketing funnels, SMS, SMS. We have a massive SMS list. One of my businesses alone has a million and a half double opted in SMSs of buyers, buyers, people who purchased something before. 
Find anybody. Ask anybody you know. Do you have 1.3? I think we have 1.3 or 4 million buyers on a double opted in SMS inbox. So we send out, a, we can send, I can send out a one SMS and make 100 Gs just from that. Okay. It's crazy. It's crazy. So we're going to get into SMS marketing. It's very sophisticated and very powerful. By the way, if you know this stuff, if you even remember half of what you learned in this four months, you're going to be able to walk into any company that's hiring for e-com and literally <laughs> they're going to hire you first. You should be the manager after this. Now, I don't know if that will always happen. I'm assuming you actually learn this stuff, but okay. This is my gallon water. It's good to make sure you drink a whole gallon. It's got the uh, 7 a.m. You should drink this much. 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1, 3, 5. By the way, this is a good product for e-com, man. Sell, sell this bad boy right here. It's a good little beginner product. You ain't going to get rich off of it, but it's a good little product to start with. I like, I bought it. <laughs> I bought it. How about that? If I buy it, other people buying too. Okay, so let's go back to my screen share. So month three, we get to get into Facebook, Google, YouTube, SMS, email. There's something called solo ads, which are email drops, third-party drops you can do. Uh, okay, and funnels, of course, are big. By the way, Month one in the 30-day challenge is your most important part. Those of you who get in today, you're going to have 30 days. In the next 30 days, you're going to learn a lot. And then the next three subsequent months are going to teach you like that much more. Okay? It's going to really create the mastery, which I want you to have. So month four in the four Ps is what? It's called placement. So placement, and I, I include programming in there. Okay. Now... Some of you are intimidated. Oh, Todd, I don't know about programming. Like, what is that? You do not have to become a computer programmer because we use third-party pre-built software. But you do have to have a basic knowledge. You have to have a basic knowledge. We're going to get you that solid foundation to understand Shopify, to understand the apps. So Shopify, apps, plugins, um, we'll talk about Kajabi if you're doing a digital product or Teachable. Uh, which we used to use for MentorBox. We'll talk about WordPress. We'll talk about ClickFunnels, okay? Um, so that's the programming side. You're gonna learn a little bit about a design we wanna talk about. Um, and then we wanna talk about the whole shipping component. Remember, when you sell something to e -com, if it's a physical product, you have to get it in people's hands. That's placement, Okay, and, and in the modern world, that can be a tricky part. You need to understand, let me stop sharing my screen here, but there's something called 3PLs, third-party logistics. There are warehouses that you can have your products in, in almost any country in the world, not just the US, by the way. Uh, we'll talk about, you know, shipping things in from China and how that's changed. If you're on Ali, basically AliExpress, right, you've got whole catalog, but it's stuck in China right now. So we'll talk about, we're starting to move a lot of our logistics to the good old USA. That's why I've been buying up warehouses. Okay. We're not going to talk about real estate, by the way, warehouse, but you should learn how to, in real warehouses is the future, in my opinion, of commercial real estate. But that's for another call, not for today's call. Um, okay. So that's a fourth month. You're going to learn all things related to getting the product in people's hands, getting the website optimized, getting the design correct, understanding the plugins that are available to you. There, Shopify, for example, is like a, a universe of apps, just like you have on your phone that you can download specialized things that will help you with your particular business. Or if you're an employee of a company, will help you grow your employer's revenue. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the fourth month, okay, guess what we have? We've got the exam. And, um, as I said, it's not a BS exam, like true or false e-commerce is good. Like it's not going to be one like my SMMA one people failed, but you know what? We helped them. We, we, we didn't tutor people, but you can take it again the next week You can go back and study the areas that you were. So we're not out to get you. But on the flip side, we want you, we want this certification to be real. I, I don't want people 
having, you know, pretending like they know e -com. If I'm going to put my name on it, if I'm going to put my name on your certification, I got to know you put in the time. Now, you don't have to do it in four months. For some of you are busy. Take six months to do it. Take one year. You have up to one year to do it. Every year, we it's a, so yeah, that's, now let me ask, ask a, answer a few questions because people are going to ask about price and this and that. Okay. Let me see if there's any, anybody have a specific question real quick on what I've been talking about. When you say month one through four, does it mean there will be like modules? Yes. It's very organized. Boom, boom, boom. Let me see if I can share a screenshot of how it looks. I think I can find it. Give me a second. I'll share my screen. Uh, and you'll be able to see. Ben, if you're listening, where is a screenshot of members area? I want to show you guys. So there's already, we're still recording content, but there's already enough content in there. Right now, today, it's going to take you like a month to go through it. Okay. So like we have a month, we're a month ahead, which is really good for me. Um, how current is the content? The content that you're about to get access to has been recorded in the last two weeks. Two weeks, maybe three weeks. So this is not, by the way, if you're in my old e uh program, things change. This is new. This e certification, as I told you, is built for my employees and trainees and interns. Okay, but I'm going, I want to offer it because a lot of times people are like, yo, I want to, you know, can I do this stuff? I can't work for you. So how different is this from SMMA? Very different. Very different. SMMA has nothing about Shopify, sourcing products, selecting products, split testing product. SMMA is about social media. It's all about Facebook and YouTube. There's a little bit of overlap, but like 10% overlap, man. So um, man, there's a lot of questions. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer these. In fact, I gotta slow them down. My eyeballs are gonna fall out. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing to stop scrolling. Is this for us to sell products or help companies? That is a great question, Mike Anderson. Listen, Mike, it depends. Some of you are very much entrepreneurs. You never wanna work for somebody. This is a critical certification for you. Some of you are like, you know what? I'm a little worried these days. I want to get a nice solid paying job, you know, have benefits. And some of you want to do both. You can have a job and you can do this on the side as either a consultant or your own product. So there, the, it, I'm giving you a skill, man. It's like a ninja skill. When you're a ninja, you can use the ninja skills anywhere you want. You know, it's like Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson can fight in the boxing ring. But if you pick a fight with them in the streets, he's always going to knock you out on the streets. This is that's the analogy. This thing will work if it's related to e-com, which I can promise you 99% of businesses are. You know how wealthy Jeff Bezos got? Let me show you guys something. Did you guys see this? The king of e-commerce. Nobody. The king of e-commerce. Me and Alex are nothing compared to Jeff Bezos. I'm a little cocky, but I ain't that cocky. This is the absolute king of the entire, but unfortunately he doesn't have a training program because if Jeff Bezos had a training program, I'd say take his training program, not mine, because he's better than me, but he ain't giving away any secrets. You know why? Jeff Bezos net worth, because he doesn't share how he does anything. I mean, he does share his platform, which is nice, but he doesn't share, look at this, his net worth, if you look in the news tab here, let me share my screen. Um, Jeff Bezos' net worth increased $24 billion because of COVID. $24 billion. That's insanity. That's $24,000 million. He's at $142 billion. In nominal dollar amount, no one, no human's ever been at $142.5 billion. Um, one of the guys that I know, look at Steve Ballmer. Steve Ballmer is now the seventh richest man in the world. This is the richest guy that I know. We're not close, but I've had I've had one-on-one -on -one dinners and with just me and him and very smart guy. Look at his net worth. Oh, nice. He just donated money. But uh, you got to look on the Forbes list. He went to number seven. He's been like, yeah, he's 62 billion right now. 
Guess what? Microsoft is e-commerce, baby. It's digital products. Word, Excel, that's digital internet edge or whatever, not internet explorer. These guys bet on e-com and they're ruling the world. So get in the game. Look, I'm not promising you you're going to become Steve Ballmer. Like, let's be real here. Maybe somebody will become a billionaire. I hope you do. But don't join this and say, Ty told you you're going to become a billionaire because I did not say that. And you, you might not even become a millionaire. But what I will tell you is there's nothing I can think of that if I, let's say I lost all my money and lost all my businesses, the number one thing I would do right now is become an e-commerce certified specialist. I would still learn other stuff. I'd still learn a little bit about real estate investing. I'd still learn social media marketing. It's all important. But e-com, especially like having a badass systematic understanding of it, first place I go. And if you don't believe me, look at the guys who are specializing in e-com net worth through the roof. People who do not do e-com, like I told you, Tillman Fertitta is a guy that I look up to, but he's not an e-com. He's the largest restaurant owner in the world. He also owns the Houston Rockets, which is not e-commerce. He also owns um, the uh, Golden Nugget Hotel in Vegas, the casino. So his net worth's gone down. Now, he'll he's a smart guy. He'll be fine. Trust me. He got a lot of money in cash and He's very smart. But my point is, even the billionaires that didn't bet on e -com are getting stomped. So imagine everyday ordinary people. You know what I'm saying? So let me do this. I'm going to put a link here. Uh, let's see if I can get my screen to show. Let me make sure I have the link. And then I'll take some questions. Oh, here's an example. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen real quick with you guys. Uh, hold on a second. So here's an, here's inside the members area, okay? Because some of you are asking me like, how does it look and how is it organized? Can you guys see this picture right here? So you see there on the right, all the lessons, crafting the perfect offer, knowing your avatar, 10X offer stack, 10 elements of a high converting sales page, how to double revenue with upsells, selling high ticket and agency backend offers, your cart page plus order bump, funnel overviews, Facebook. So this is that 30, the first month is a 30 day challenge. I gotta get you up to par real fast. This is what you should have learned in school, okay? So did you, you guys see that? It's very systematic and very comprehensive even in the first month, okay? So let me put a link. So here's the thing. Let's talk about price for a second because this is not a free program. And I'll tell you why it's not a free program. Number one, if I do this as a free program, I'm going to get like at least 1 million people to sign up to it in 2020. Do you want to have a million people competing with you? Because I can make, if I make it free, dude, I've done free programs where I get like, mm, I don't know, let's say seven to 10,000 people joining it per day when I do free training. Like add up. 10,000 times 365 days. Should I do that? Is that gonna help? No. So number one, it's gonna saturate the market in, with insane, like <laughs> very rapidly, let me put it that way. Number two, I just, people are paying 30,000 a year for a marketing degree at NY, at Stern for digital. 30,000 a year, 120,000. So I don't think me charging a little bit and it costs me money to make this program. By the way, for those of you, we have two levels of it, but the basic, everybody has to start at the same level. Then for some of you, if you show yourself to be more advanced, we've got some other stuff like some live coaching we can do. And also, um, as I told you, building new stores and stuff, but everybody starts the same. You got to go through the four month. That's, it's like, you have to get a, like in college, you got to get a bachelor's before you can get a master's or PhD. So this isn't a college degree, but you have used, we kind of follow that model. So in terms of price, um, I didn't want to set it in the tens of thousands or 5,000 or anything like that. So I just, as those of you know, um, for my, let me pull up my little page here where you can see here. Give me a second here.
da da da. WhatsApp's a pain. Um, let me just ask. I I we're setting it up with some payment plans too. If you can't pay all of it up front, but like I said, I wanted to do. I like to do stuff. What I've learned, the most fair price is over a hundred bucks and under a thousand bucks. That's how I do my programs. I think it's a happy medium. And it gives me enough money to pay my employees, to pay people who trained, to um, create, you know, really, it's all about the quality of the lessons you're learning. If I just make four months of BS programs and charge you 10 bucks, it's like, did that really help you? So this isn't for everybody. Some of you are not gonna be able to afford to get in. Some of you can go through my more basic programs. I've got programs starting at $1 free trial. And after that, they're nine bucks a month. Okay, this is more advanced. This is for you if you are serious, serious, serious. So, but don't feel bad. I don't want to leave people behind. I know some of you are like me. You might only have $47 in your bank account. I, I didn't leave you behind. I have other stuff on my site. But this is for people who are like ready to go. Um, at a little more structured, high-powered course and want that certification. I believe the certification alone is worth the entire price of the product, really. Um, hold on one second here. So yeah, we and we have two kind of steps we have. You can get in the program. We also interview people. So I'm gonna put a link here. Let me see if I can share my screen. If you want to claim a spot in this text in this test group, by the way, I did a test email for this, and people are jumping in this program seriously, way above average. I've, I've, you know, I have about eleven different training programs. This one is like at people are pouring into it. So, uh, give me a second. I'm just gonna put something here. Gotta find it. Okay. All right. Sorry, I was back doing something else here. Any questions before I put the link in? Does this program help with coming up with ideas for new e-com? That's month one product. We're talking about product. I showed you that screenshot, crafting the perfect offer, yes. Are the other e-commerce programs outdated? No, they're not outdated, but this is, I mean, they're slightly outdated. That's just how e-com goes every year. Think of how much more options there are. I first launched my first e-com program in like 2016 or 2017, e-commerce blueprint. That, they didn't even have attentive for SMS marketing in 2017, so I couldn't teach that to you, you know? Um, does this work in Europe? Heck yeah. Remember the beauty of e-com is you can be sitting in Bangladesh and you know, I have an office in India and Pakistan and China and Philippines. So I have an e-com group that runs my businesses, not all of it out of Karachi, Pakistan. So I'm employing people right now, by the way, I told you I created this program because we're, I need to hire like 30, I have a two floor building in Pakistan full of of people who work for me. By the way, it's not slave labor. We give them top health insurance. We give them, um, and we have health. We give them free meals, all this. It's just very, we and we pay above average, just so you guys know, because I don't want people to be like, oh, Ty has a sweatshop. Like, no, we have people lining up that want to work. We pay above average wage. Um, um, so this, you could be living in Pakistan right now. You get in this program, there's lots of companies looking to hire e-com specialists. You can go on Upwork and show, hey, I'm Ty Lopez, e-commerce certified specialist. That's another place to get freelance work if you want to do freelance, okay? Um, someone said, hi, I'm from Karachi, Pakistan. Is this the same as e-com agency? So I launched the e-com agency program back in 2017. Like, that was just how to start an agency. This is much more high powered. This is like the Ferrari right here is basically, I've had e-com beginner programs, but um, this is the first time I put, they, they've been like, you know, driving like a, a Honda. They've been good, a Honda gets you places, you know, 
they get you places. And and plus, the world's changed, man. Because of COVID, a lot of the rules got thrown out the door. Like all the economics are different. Nobody's advertising on Facebook right now and YouTube. So it's best time to be in the program, you know. Fourth month, do we have to do programming? No, but I'm gonna teach you the basics. You gotta understand the basics of a website, man. You need to understand what the word HTML is and CSS is. You need to understand what APIs are. If that sounds confusing, don't worry. We're good at teaching all levels. Is it good if you're in Puerto Rico? Yes. If you have internet connection, for all of you asking me the same question over and over, ask yourself, do you have internet? Um, Yes, uh, then you can do this. Okay, let me put the link and then I'm gonna answer a few more questions. Okay, so to grab your, give me a second, share my screen, boom, boom. Okay, so to grab your spot, in the, oh, damn it. I don't know what the hell's up. I'm gonna put it in the chat. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Let me put it in the chat. It's very simple. You just go to Ty Lopez, go. Oh, here it is. In the test group, go right here. Tylopez.com slash go, okay? That's all you got to do and you can grab, that's how you grab a spot. That's what you, it'll have the next step you need to do to grab the spot. Let me make this larger font. Oops. Let's make this bold and let's make this size, I don't know, 40. Oh, it went offline, but you guys can see it. tylopez.com slash go. So we have the next step for you to claim a spot in the test group. Can you guys see that? I put it in the chat also. Okay, let me answer some questions while you guys are looking at tylopez.com slash go. Oh man, okay. What about SMMA program? You can still do SMMA. It still works. It's just more saturated. It's like very simple. Law, law of supply and demand. Law of supply and demand. It's still solid for those of you who love social media, do SMMA. If you love social media, okay? Um, time 17 from UK, saw you back in November when you were in Success Resources. Actually, let me go back to share my screen. Shoot, okay. Now, people are asking if they can get it for free. The only time I give it away free is if you're a, a disabled veteran, okay? I like, I give, it's free for disabled veterans. You can contact my office. You have to send in proof that you're disabled, okay? Um, so for very special extenuating circumstances, like, you know, disability, things like that, but it has to be real. Like some people are like, oh, I sprained my ankle. I'm like, well, I've sprained my ankle too. I, uh, you got to recover from that. But I, we're not ruthless and be like, nobody can ever get this free. But I'll tell you this. I've tested this thing over and over. People get the program free, never do it. I don't, I have a guy, a new person I'm working with out of Canada. And he was like, I'm going to do my services for free for you, Ty, just to show you how good I am. And I was like, no, you're not. I do not like people working for me for free. They do a shitty job. So, you know what I'm saying? So, um, let me see. All right, I'm gonna read these comments. Let me turn them off for a second because too many people, it like makes my eyes. I wanna scroll up here and there's like people posting the same comment three trillion times. Can you guys pause the comments for a second on my team, please? So I, my eyes can keep track of these questions. Yeah, they're off now. They're off now? Okay, thank you. All right. I'm in Nigeria. Will this program help? Yes. I'm from India. Yes. 
any difference between this and the business bundle? Yeah, business bundle is like other stuff, you know, it's got like real estate in there. It's got all, it, yeah, totally different. It, there's some things in this, but this is a systematic four months. Let's go finish this. Let me read the name, by the way, of some people who are in getting in the program. I'm gonna ask, answer some other questions. Now, one thing I, I was gonna just go back here. If you look here in the news on Ecom, let's talk about how you could use this as like, let's say you don't wanna start your own business. Maybe you're intimidated, but let me just show you here. So there's a company, there's a website called Upwork, okay? This is a great, once you get your four month certification, I highly recommend you go right here, okay? And you sign up here, in-demand talent. Okay, this, I've used this to hire people, by the way. I've used this website. I do not own it. I wish I had, I owned it. So I'm not trying to promote something because it's my business. Um, there's a couple other websites too, besides Upwork, but Upwork's a really good one. And you can go in here and you can offer services. See, here's the categories that you can offer. So I would go in here and e-commerce development freelancers. So that's on the dev side, okay? Then here on the data science, that's the numbers. That's what I said you'll be learning here too. So there's actually multiple categories that you could be in here. Sales and marketing, you're gonna learn all of these. Display advertising, email and marketing automation, lead gen, market customer research. This is all part of what you're learning. These four SEO. It had, uh, but here, this I would put in there, I would come in on the e-com side. Now, this is more for programmers, but you can still pop in there. I mean, it's not, yeah. I would get myself in multiple categories here, even copywriting. We're gonna talk about copywriting. That's part of e-commerce. You gotta write compelling emails. And those of you who are good at writers will show you how to do the writing yourself. If you're not good at writing, we'll show you how to build a team that can do it. If you get it, so right here is job opportunity. And you can see e-com is related to like one, two, excuse me, <laughs> two, three, Directly related, three, four, five, six. I put one of these in seven. Definitely here on the freelance, personal virtual assistant freelance and project managers. I'd go in right there, that's a good category. So that's two more. Then over here you have about eight. So you're here about 15 categories of Upwork from this, that from this certification, 15, easy, maybe more, okay? So that's the power of this. By the way, let me read the names of some people getting in the group just to congratulate you for being in the group, okay? Brooke Bayless, Queensland, Australia, welcome. Adonis Tranquil or Tranquilly, Middletown, New Jersey. I get a little thing, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I, I built my own app. Well, I did, my programmers did. And I get the, every transaction on my business, I, all my businesses, I have a drop down, so I have all my other businesses there too. It's kind of cool. So, the, we got Brooke Bayless, Adonis Tranquilly, Daniel Magna from Omaha. Hey, you're in Warren Buffett territory. Maxims, Sia Max, Latvia. Kalila Johnson, Maryland, Towson, Maryland. Emma Mc... Uh, Emma Nack, sorry if I'm destroying people's names, Nackavel, Eden Prairie, Minnesota, Jonathan Granson, Chatham, Kent, Great Britain. How are you guys doing over there? I love England, man. It's one of my favorite cities. London, sorry, countries. <laughs> my brain's fried here. Tambra Lanham, Stevens City, Virginia. Hey, I'm in Virginia right now. Yakemp, ja Newkirk. Wow. White Plains, New York. Did you have a tough time spelling that when you were in first grade? Ya. Ja Y-A-H, Kemp, Newkirk. That's kind of a cool name. Oleg, Oleg Benga from, oh no, that's a different program I have, sorry. That's my 67 steps. Sergio Sierra, welcome to the group. Wilver Gonzalez, welcome to the group. 
Nicole Rankin. Ah, British Columbia, Canada. Welcome to the group. Kind of cool. Oh, and while I was reading that, someone else came in. Jaslyn Lalani Feherong with no location. Jasmine Lalani, where do you live? We got, looks like it's almost evenly split between males and females, by the way. That's good. World needs more female entrepreneurs. Always build a business with about 50-50 men and women. I've learned this. I'm not just saying that, by the way, to be bullshit politically correct. Some things men really suck at, I can promise you. Oh, there, that's me, Jasmine said, Montana. Some things women really surpass men in, especially around like remembering. Guys forget everything. It drives me crazy. I don't know what's different about the woman's brain. Now, there are some things I find men are better than women. Am I allowed to say that and be politically correct? I'm not very politically correct. I find men usually are more aggressive, which sometimes is actually not a strength. <laughs> uh, anyway, Casey Parkman, Smithfield, Rhode Island. But I'm just happy to see. Now, Casey, are you male or female? Not that I care, but just because we're talking about male and female and you got one of those names, I got no idea. Jasmine, I'm pretty sure is a female. Adonis, that's definitely a dude. Uh, Maxims, male. Kalila, no idea. Anyway, I'm trying to say it's good that men and women are getting in because the game just goes better when you got even ratios. It's kind of like nightclubs. I used to own nightclubs. God help you if you're ever going to a nightclub that's 65% men, 35% women. That is not a fun experience. Fights go through the roof. Crime goes through the roof. I had one of my bouncers get shot in the back at a club that had too many males. It wasn't my club. It was the one that my security guys would do freelance. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go here soon. Common question. Let me answer some common questions that I always get. So, number one, will this actually work for me? That's your biggest fear. Okay, I'm going to tell you this. A four-year college degree right now, maybe you want to do that. And I'm not going to tell you you shouldn't do it. But in four years, you're going to miss a lot of shit. So if you want to get a digital degree from NYU, you can apply. They're all closed right now. And it's going to take you four years to get a bachelor's degree. And they waste your time. You're going to have to learn stuff you don't need. I'm cutting out all the shit you don't need to learn. So will this work for you? Uh, you do not need a super high IQ. Warren Buffett says you only need 120 IQ to create wealth. And if you're that 120 is not genius. It's just like, you know, you're not stupid. If you have mental problems, like you have severe mental retardation, that, that this program might not be good for somebody like that. Or you need to do it with somebody to tutor you or something like that. But if you are, you know, just got common sense, there might be a few things you don't understand. Just skip those lessons. You don't have to memorize all four months of this program. You just got to pass the exam, okay? Which means you got to know most of it. So will this work for you? If you have half, half a brain of common sense, but not necessarily a genius, not necessarily good at math, not necessarily good at programming, you'll be fine. Okay. Another common question, Ty, I'm already advanced. I know a lot of stuff. Well, good. You'll fly through the beginner stuff and the advanced stuff is for real advanced. Okay. It's not bullshit. I meet all kinds of people that tell me they're advanced e-com people. I'm like, bullshit. Show me your fucking screenshot. Show me your Shopify. You know, I'm like, I call bullshit on people all the time. I'm like, you know what? Let me see your numbers, baby. Then I'll know if you're full of shit or not. So here's just, I can't say which company this is. I, by the way, have multiple drop downs. But like here's just one of my companies. What's that right there? One mil. One M. One mil. That's this month. The month's not over. It's not my biggest company either. I'm just showing you. Start getting people. By the way, that's real. That's not a screenshot. You see that? That's refreshed. That means it's real. One million. Exactly. And it says right there, this month. The month ain't over. That's not my biggest company. So, how many orders did I ship? 14,033. 
So those of you who think you're expert, maybe you are. Show me multiple stop, uh, Shopify stores that you have. Change the drop down in real time. Set it to this month, refresh it, and show me 14,000 orders you shipped out of your warehouses. That's our warehouses we ship 14,000 uh, items out of. Okay, I'm not doing that to brag. I'm just telling, that's through COVID. COVID didn't even affect that business at all. So we are, whenever people tell you they're gonna teach you, this is what I said. Uh, numbers taught, bullshit walks. Just, you don't even have to tell me if you're good. Just let me see. I see people teaching e-com that are like, I've done 500,000 sales in my entire e-com career. I'm like, 500,000? That doesn't qualify you to teach, baby. Like, this is real life. What the fuck? That's like learning basketball from somebody who played JV basketball. <laughs> like, that's your coach, your JV. The, the, the bench guy on the JV. Learn from people who know. And I'm not saying I know everything. That's why I have multiple people teaching. There is no one person. By the way, if you see a course that has only one teacher, don't do it. You think one person out there understands every part of e-commerce? Jeff Bezos has like a leadership team of like 75 people. If Jeff Bezos needs a 75 person team, somebody who tells you, oh yeah, Ty, I, you know, I can do this all on my own. I'm like, no, you can't teach. So I'm not cocky like that. I want people, I have multiple teachers. Um, here's another one. So look, this is me changing the drop down. Here's a different, okay, I set it to this month. Here's another, I'm not gonna show you the name of the company. It's another one of my companies. I'll, I'll refresh it so you can see it's real. $363,000 this month. By the way, this business is under one month old and highly profitable, okay? So like I said, at our peak, the most Alex and I have ever done in e-com month in and month out, like average over, we've we've done about uh, 16 million a month, 17 million a month on e-com in our businesses. Not businesses that we do marketing for, our own businesses that we owned, that we founded, we were doing, and not just for one month or one sale, like month in, month out, we average over 17 million a month in e-com sales, not counting real estate, not counting other stuff, okay? So I just want you to know, like, we're gonna show you the real deal, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I know it sounds cocky, but I think it's important in the modern world, so many people that just claim to be able to help you, and some of them are good, but not many. Just tell them to show you, share their their accounts. Linda Renauso, Canyon County. Welcome to the group. Jawide Iqbal. Oh, there you go. In Karachi, Sindh, Pakistan. Maybe you're the guy that just messaged me. Hey, Jawad, learn my program, and I'm, I'll you can talk to Rehan, who runs my office there. Maybe we'll hire you if you do well on that quiz. Do well on the quiz. If you want to work for me, don't be getting like an 85. I want people who get like an A or an A plus. You can go work for somebody else if you get a B. I, I have high standards. So by the way, I'm not promising you, by the way, if you do this course, I'm going to hire you. But I am always looking for a couple people a month to hire um, around e-com. But you better do good. I'm going to watch. And so, by the way, if you don't do good, but you do pass, you can take the quiz again if you want to try to get a better score. You got to wait a week. I don't like people just taking the quiz 10 times in one day to try to pass. So, uh, yeah. Yvonne Ramos, Chicago, Illinois. Dwayne Deming, Jackson. What's up, my friend? Jackson, Mississippi. I've been there, boy. One of my mentors, Dr. Gordon Hazard. Rest in peace. He's dead now. Uh, he lived there. He taught me a lot about business. He's the guy, if you've been through 167 Steps, he said, Ty, um, don't invest in things that rust, rot, or depreciate. He had all his money in appreciating assets. So believe it or not, he ran cattle. He understood the futures market. He had three to 4,000 feeder, they're called stalker calves. He ran it as an 85 year old himself. He owned 3,000 acres of land. You wanna get rich? Eventually you should own land, by the way. No matter what people tell you, if you know how to buy land in the long run, there's 8 billion people in the world. This planet's going to go to 10 to a 12 billion people. So let me just say, 
if you guys start making money, um, I have some advanced coaching stuff where I'll give you my opinion on how to invest your profits. I can't tell you how many people have gone through my program. I had a guy go through my program, make a million dollars in SMMA, okay? And he was like tw under 25. And he lost it all investing in stupid things people told him to do. So I've seen that. That's an extreme example. I think he lost more than a million. This guy was never made money in his life. Went through my SMMA program in 2016, made millions profit and has like nothing now because he didn't invest it correctly. So land, by the way, don't make that your first investment. Land's trickier to invest in. But one day as you get more advanced, you want to own a little bit of land. You want to own land. People are going to tell you, no, you got to own apartment buildings. You got to, no, land. One of the richest men in American history was a guy. He owned King Ranch. His dying words to his son was buy land, don't sell. But don't do that as your first real estate investment because it's easy to lose money in land. Uh, if you do it incorrectly, start with income producing assets. I like warehouses. They're boring. They ain't sexy. But you know what? You can lease them to a company for 10 years sometimes, at least two, five. You have one or two tenants. You do a triple net lease. And um, it's not per you're not going to make 50% returns on your money, but you can make a solid eight to 18, eight to 15%. By the way, a little investing advice. If somebody ever tells you, they got a way you can make more than 15% year in, year out investing. They're idiots. And they're, but you're about to lose all your money. Warren Buffett's the greatest investor of all time. And he's only averaged like 19% since 1962. 19% and he's the greatest investor in history. You ain't going to do better. Now, where you can make higher returns than 19% is a business you're active in. I'm talking about passive investing. Passive investing, try to make 8 to 15 year in, year out. Okay, don't be looking at real estate. Somebody tells you, oh, this thing's going to make you 26% run from that property. Somebody's lying. And why would they be selling it if it's doing 26% return? Use your brain. Ain't nobody selling stuff that's getting them cash on cash returns, 26%. Okay. How long have I been on this call? Let me see. I got my recorder going here. I've been going for... One hour, 23 minutes. So I'm gonna wrap up in about seven minutes. So I guess I, what I'm saying is when you get through this econ program, you get a better job or you become a consultant with it or you go on Upwork and, and freelance, whatever you do, invest that profit wisely and don't invest it all back into your business. Some people are like, oh, invest all your money back. In no, bullshit. Let me tell you a story about people who invested all their money back into their business that I know personally, okay? I can say this public because it's public information. The founders of, maybe I won't say this. It's too 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 new, but I won't say the name. I tried to buy a company recently. It did $3 billion in revenue. The owners founded it. It put them on the Forbes list. Four years ago, they were on the Forbes list. They invested all their profits, which was two to $400 million a year, back into their business. But they forgot to bet on e-com, by the way. They were horrible with e-coms. They had a, their, their email list was in the tens of millions and they never used it. And they just went bankrupt and lost their entire business in the last six months. I'm not going to say when because you'll be able to figure out the company. Very famous company. I was involved in trying to buy the, the, do the buyout so I know the exact statistics. Those people were paying themselves 100 million to 200 million dividends or distributions. They should have bought all kinds. Of, they should have bought raw land. With 200 million, I would have gone into Illinois some of the prime farmland in America, in the world. And I would have started buying up 10, 20,000 acre farms because farms hold value. They don't go up fast, but they don't go down. And America is going to need more food. If you've been watching the news, food shortages are happening because of distribution problems, import, export. So instead of doing that, they re they said, oh, this business is making us money. Let's put all our profits. Never, never put 100% of your profits back into your business. Always diversify can be as little as 10 to 20%. I take money from one business, I flow it way over. Warren Buffett bought C's Candy for $25 million in 1972. He took two billion out and invested it, two billion out of that since 1972 into other companies. 
He bought Gillette. He bought Dairy Queen. He bought a large percentage of Amex, a large percentage of Bank of America. Take it from, don't take it from me, take it from Buffett. There is no greater investor. Nobody averaged 19% since 1972, uh, 62. George Soros is not like him. Some of you like Ray Dalio. Ray Dalio is not on the level of Warren Buffett. Put it this way, Bill Gates sits on the board under Warren Buffett. Bill Gates doesn't sit under any human except Warren Buffett because Bill Gates <laughs> is worth 120 billion. Everybody respects Buffett. Don't think you're smarter than Buffett. You ain't gonna do, passive investments are not gonna do more than 19% year in, year out. Yeah, you might pull off one or two years in a bull market, but everybody looks like a genius in a bull market. And when the tide comes in, you'll see who's swimming naked. You're seeing that right now. Build your house on the foundation. That's the rock, not the sand. Like the old Bible saying goes, people build on the sand and when the storm comes, we just had a storm. COVID was a storm in this world. And people who built their financial foundation on the sand got washed away. And I feel bad. I'm not saying that out of joy. I'm not saying that out of joy. I'm saying that out of sadness. Isn't You never want to be happy when people fail. Even if they deserve to fail, don't be happy about it. It's bad karma. But those of you, I'm telling you, e I told people in 2016, the foundation to build on was social media. And now the world shifted and the foundation to build upon is e -com. Become a specialist. It's a real job. It's going to be a real job title in the world. You know, there's so many BS titles like, oh, you know, whatever, customer care manager. Like, okay, that's great. Yeah, that's neat. But it's not more important than the e-com because you run all the businesses. Walmart is online now. All Walmart realizes, did you see that they hired like, what was it, 10,000 or 100,000 people? That was not for their stores. Their stores are closed. So get in the game. All right, let's see. We got Walter Morgan, New York, Christian Sergeri. Marcus Chun, Kingman, Arizona. Mario Rodriguez, you forgot to put your location. Did I already say Yvonne Ramos? I think I said this one. I don't want to read all these, but uh, let's see. Any last things? My team, any last things that I should do? All right. I think we're good. Um... I hope you got value from this call. For those of you who could get in the program, I'm gonna share the link one more time just so you know where to go. It's tylopez.com slash go, G-O, like go get started, like go stop procrastinating. tylopez.com slash G-O. That's all you gotta type into your laptop or your phone. tylopez.com slash go. Um, a couple more common questions, sorry. What if it doesn't work? We have a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can do the first 30 day challenge and you can, I'll give you your money back if you're like, oh, if you can say with a straight face, this was a BS program, I'll give you all your money back. Okay. You will not be able, it's a solid program. You're going to be like, whoop, Rudy's teaching the first 30 days. Um, those of you who got in, you'll start today. Start today. That's why I put tylopez.com slash go. Go get started, man. People, procrastinate so much it's insane there's people now who message me ty is social media marketing good i'm like yeah it was good in 2016 like it's still good now but you should have gotten what do you think it's better to buy amazon stock when it opens or four years later you know that if you had bought uber stock in 2009 ten thousand dollars is one is a hundred million bucks if you have bought, i have a friend who bought bitcoin when it was 10 cents He's worth, third, I think it's worth 37 uh, million what he has now. Not billion, million. Because he got in early. There's people who bought Bitcoin at 17, 18, 19,000. Well, if you buy Bitcoin at 19,000, it's going to be hard to make money right now. It's at 7,000. It's got to triple before you make money. Uber stock is going down now. You had to buy it back. You know, I, I heard that Beyonce did a performance for Uber and instead of getting paid, she took it in stock, right? And it's worth like $60 million today. So you gotta get in early is what I'm trying to say. Some of you are like very slow and you've been slow your whole life on catching new trends. Please make that change. 
Melissa Vincent, Claremont, Illinois. Where is Claremont? I did not even know that location existed. Claremont, Illinois. We were just talking about Illinois. Uh, another common question. So we talked about refunds. Yes, you can get refunded. Uh, what's another common question? Ty, I already answered. It doesn't matter where you live. I already answered that. Uh, another common question is, um, is it guaranteed that I'll get rich off this? No. Okay. Just let me nip that in the bud. All the get rich things, you should go somewhere else. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. You ain't going to get rich. I've been looking at the whole mask world, buying COVID masks. There's so many idiots in that business. I'm not even touching that business. I was looking to help broker mask deals, morons all trying to get rich overnight. And multiple are, are got sent to prison if you saw the news. You try to make money too fast, my friend, you're going to end up in prison. So slow and steady, baby. But you can get to financial independence. It took me in 2001, nine months to create financial independence. I was living in a mobile home, had no car, sleeping on a couch. Nine months later, I had my own place in Raleigh North. Well, I didn't have, I had roommates, but I wanted to have roommates. It was three guys. We, we used to throw parties and have fun. So it was me, Craig, and Navon. I had my own house, though. It was a nice house in North Raleigh. I had a car, a Mitsubishi Gallant, which <laughs> at the time, I thought I had the best car ever. Now I got all kinds of cars, but back then, that was nine months. Um, I was making, I had no income when I started. This is e-com, by the way. I started in e-com in 01. So I'm telling you what e-com did to my life. Did not make me a millionaire in nine months, but I was making uh, $8,000 a month steady from that day forward. From 2001 to today, I've never even made remotely less than $8,000 a month. I mean, I went up, every, basically my income has gone up every single year since 2001. So I started young, like teenager, you know, people don't realize I started younger than people think. People saw me in 2015, like, oh, who's this new guy? I'm like, bitch, I was doing shit before you even fucking knew what the internet was. Uh, all these people that hated on me, I'm like, who the fuck are you? Show me your fucking credentials. I was making six figures with Google ads in fucking 2001 and 2002. You were probably in preschool, so shut the fuck up. A little side note, but you know what? I let all those haters just hate, but now fucking who's, who's, hey, let people laugh. Let people underestimate you. People don't talk so much shit anymore. They don't talk. They see me in like New York Post article, Ty Lopez is going to buy Blue Apron. People shut the fuck up who said I didn't know about business. So a lot of people probably underestimated you. Let them underestimate you. I do jujitsu. First rule of jujitsu is let people think they're winning. Then you flip them and choke the motherfucker out. Next thing they know, they're on the ground. That's how jujitsu works. Let people use their hate to lose. So you've probably been underestimated. Some of you are probably the poorest person in your family. Some of you have seen all your friends make more money than you. Jujitsu. Financial jujitsu. And most of the people who hated on me, now they like me. In fact, some of the biggest YouTubers who made fun of me call me for financial advice. No shit. Text me. Hey, Ty, you ain't so bad. What should I do with my money? What's, you got some investing advice? So business jujitsu is what I want you guys to learn. But you got to have a real skill. You can't just be a fast talker. I know how to be a fast talker, but I also have real skill. Trust me. I, I know Google AdWords. I know YouTube ads. I know Facebook ads. I know Shopify. I know how to build a team. I know how to run phone sales. I know how to price split test. I know how to design software. I spent $9 million developing my own piece of software that runs my own. I don't even use Shopify for my own personal business. I, I've, I'm not saying I know everything, but I have a strong grasp of all four Ps. And I want to get you there. And I want you to think about it like jujitsu. Like to be a black belt, okay, you got to have done 100 million or more in e-commerce specifically, okay? That's a black belt. So me and my business partner, Alex, we're black belts by that definition. Some of you, most of you are white belts. A few of you are blue belts. I want you to get to purple belt. Not all of you are gonna get to brown belt and black belt, okay? This program is gonna get some of you from white to blue and some of you from blue to purple, okay? 
If you want to get to brown to black, you need kind of personal coaching. We do have an a, uh, that, but you don't start. We only we kind of hand select people that we think are doing well in the in the program. But that's where I want you to go. And I'll tell you, if you get to blue or purple belt, you're so much better. The world's full of white belts, man. It's insane. The modern school system's pushing out financial white belts. People know nothing. I told you, there's a kid, there's a guy who was just talking to me, and he's like, Ty, I can get 18% guaranteed return in an index fund. And I was like, what the fuck? Index funds, first of all, are not guaranteed. And indexes can't beat the market. That's the definition of an index. They actually always subperform the market because they have expenses. So if the market didn't do 18%, you can't do 18% in an index. He was like talking about the S&P 500. But that, it was like a 20 year old. I said, he's like been through business school. And I was going, man, this financial illiteracy in the world is killing the world. So let's fix this for you. Um, any other common questions? I talked about why I charge money. If I don't charge money, we're going to get, you know, two to three million people join this program this year. I do not want, it's going to saturate this market. And I actually don't like two million people who uh, know a lot of my secrets in business. That's why I put a price. But I didn't charge over a thousand bucks. There's, there's name a college degree. Name a, a college you can go to even one year for a thousand bucks if you're in the US. Maybe community college, but then you're at a community college. So that's kind of punishment in and of itself. You don't want to learn econ from a community college professor. I can promise you that. Um, other common questions. Matter if you're male or female. Definitely not. Old or young. Nope. You can be under 18 if your parents approve. In fact, if you're homeschooling or parents, you should get this for your kids, man. Greatest gift you give your kids is the ability to know how to not be broke for the rest of their life. All these people teaching their kids geometry. Who uses geometry? Geometry should not be a class unless you have financial independence in first grade, second grade, third. Little kids can learn how to trade stocks. Warren Buffett started at second grade. You can make a fun play account. They call them paper trade accounts. Kids could trade and just like, it would be fun. And they could, oh, I lost money or I made money. Oh, okay, that's how it works. You know, junior high should start showing people how to buy a house. People should be driving around learning about real estate. Take a school bus. I went to the stoop. My school bus, they took me to an opera. Okay, well, great. I don't need to go to an opera. I can listen to music now it's a modern world. You have opera on your phone. You don't need it. But I wish they had taken me on an open house to walk around a piece of real estate and be like, wow, this piece of real estate right here, you know, um, is a good investment for these reasons. Or the teacher goes, hey, look, this piece of real estate is in a bad part of town. The right, got too much traffic or too little traffic. This is not good for residential, but maybe it's good for commercial. Like I never even heard the word commercial real estate in my entire school upbringing. I didn't even hear the word because my teachers didn't know what commercial real estate. Never heard the word e-com or anything even really. Obviously, e coms new, but never heard. Marketing's not new. They never talked about marketing, the product array. They never talked about split testing, statistical significance. They never, nothing. So if you got kids... Put your kids through this class. There's nothing adult in it. We don't really swear or try not to swear in the program. There's, there's no nudity or something like that in an e-com program. Get your kids in it. Buy it for your kids. And if you lost out in school, you're not a kid anymore. Well, get it for yourself. So with that said, if you're ready, go to tylopercom slash go. If you're not ready, no problem. But it's one of these test groups. I guarantee you this thing gonna fill up crazy fast. You saw there was like 700 people on this call. We're gonna send a follow-up email. So if you need a little more time to think about it, think, but make your decision before midnight tonight. All right? So with that said, I appreciate you guys being here, taking the time. I know you had other things you could do that were probably more fun than listening to me ranting. But every once in a while, you got to hear it straight like it is. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to head out and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.